Are you looking for an easy breezy tutorial on how to do SEO keyword research for YouTube? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video about YouTube SEO keyword research, I'm going to try to keep it simple. I'm going to try to not allow myself to get too deep into the weeds here. I'm not going to dive into every single nitty gritty thing that you have to consider when it comes to SEO keyword research. I wanted to create this video as like a, a condensed version of things just to help you get started. So so let's head into the screen share. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to walk you through my process of doing YouTube SEO keyword research. So essentially the tool that I use is TubeBuddy. It's the one that I've used for ever since I started this channel. I know that there are a ton of other options. I've just never dove into the other options because I really love TubeBuddy. So I'm just going to walk you through their keyword explorer and how I do SEO keyword research for YouTube using TubeBuddy. I will put the link to TubeBuddy to check it out in the video description box below. I'm pretty sure that they have a free trial or at least they have a free version. The link that I'm going to put in the video description, it is an affiliate link, but as you can see, it's only because I literally use them. So once you install TubeBuddy on your website, it like the tool pops up when you you go to YouTube. So you just go to YouTube and click the TubeBuddy button here, and then you can click Keyword Explorer in the right hand side, or Keyword Explorer usually shows up here. It doesn't really matter, but essentially click on that. And now we have to type in a keyword. So a keyword, a topic, like what do we want to explore? So I'm just going to let you in on like the keyword research that I'm doing for this specific video. So we're just going to start typing in ideas and kind of see what comes back. So we'll type in YouTube SEO. It is super vague. So as we can see, you're going to see an overall score. So 55 out of 100. It's not that great. Okay, so I like to shoot for at least 70, considering that I'm still a small channel. Uh, sometimes I will create videos if it's under 70, depending on like what the video is, if I'm super excited about it and that type of stuff. So this is why I love TubeBuddy is just because like how visual it is. I can see right away if it's good, if it's not good. And then this score analysis breaks down why you got this score for this keyword. So the search volume, it searched a decent amount of time. The competition, which is the general score for how good this keyword is compared to the search volume and like how competitive it's going to be to rank for this one. So as you can see, if you forget what things mean, you can hover over the little question mark and it will show you. So you don't have to memorize everything that I'm saying in this video, which is always fantastic. And then you can see the optimization strength. So the people that are showing up for this, how optimized are their videos for this keyword? Okay. And then we have weighted and unweighted. So when you sign up for TubeBuddy and you're doing keyword research, it's going to show you two different scores depending on your channel and your metrics. So we can see the weighted score versus the unweighted. So like my specific channel with the amount of views that I get for the size of my channel, we can take a look at now we go from a 55 to a seven. So it might be unlikely that a video like this that targets YouTube SEO created by a channel of my size might not do really well in terms of search. Okay. So keep that in mind. And then over here, this is, it pulls in Google trends data, which I think is really helpful, but it's not pulling in the data. I'm not sure why, but you can see the YouTube trends and Google trends, and then you can see additional video topics. So this is the cool thing about keyword research, in my opinion, is you type in a topic and then you see a bunch of related searches, aka long tail keywords, aka more specific keywords that are probably going to be less competitive. Okay, so we can click on these and then the score will load. So instead of YouTube SEO, it goes from a 55 to a 94. 
Okay, so this year actually isn't correct right now, so I'm not gonna create a video targeting this specific keyword, but you can kind of see what I did there. So video topics, we have common tags. So these are the common tags that people are using when they're trying to target this keyword, but essentially related searches. So this is how we get into a rabbit hole, related searches and video topics. Or you can just come back up here and get a little bit more specific. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna type in a more specific keyword that's going to directly relate to the problem that I'm helping people solve with this video. And then click explore, and then we can take a look at that score. Excellent, 100 out of 100, we love that. Let's take a look at the weighted. So it pops down to 43, but honestly, creating this video feels fun for me. It feels easy to me. This is a process that I use monthly, so I, I know this stuff like the back of my hand. This feels good for me. So what I do in terms of planning it is I'll copy it and I use Trello for organizing my keyword video ideas. And so I have a thing that says video ideas and I'll just add a card, paste it in there, and then I'll open it up and I actually put the keyword data in here because it's helpful for me if I'm doing keyword research before I actually create the video. So then I just paste the keyword in there and I'll just put the score out of 100 so that when I'm coming back in to optimize, I have all of the data right here. Okay, so you, you can organize your information however you want to. This feels really easy to me. So then we can also take a look at related searches. So this one is even more specific. So let's see what shows up for this one. Okay, so this one's 42 and I think it's because the search volume, it's not as high. So to me, I'm not that excited about it. So then we can click down here, click on that version that I was already looking at. And then I wanna see what this one shows up as. So this is doing keyword research for YouTube. I know that, okay, look at this, a 92. So what I'm gonna do is also copy this one and I paste it into my Trello card. And I might do this with a couple of variations of this keyword and then I'll put them in my Trello card so that once I create the video and I have a video editor that edits them for me and then once I'm ready to publish the video, I'll come back into this Trello card and I already have all of my research, all of my data, which can then help me create the title, create the video description and all of that like video optimization stuff. But what I was gonna say was that th when I first started doing YouTube SEO keyword research, coming from Google SEO keyword research, I was underwhelmed to say the least, okay? So I know that I haven't dabbled with every other keyword research tool, but this seems, a, it's a lot more simplistic on YouTube. So just keep that in mind if you're coming from the, the, the headspace of like Google SEO, where we can dive into like way more granular data and analytics and like there's more information available for keyword research for Google. With YouTube, it's not as specific, okay? So that's why I like doing TubeBuddy. It keeps it simple. It keeps it really streamlined. I really like the visualization of it, especially. So I know I said that I wanted to keep this video really like short and sweet and simplistic, but I did want to run through one more example example with you guys, okay? So let's say that you create content and your YouTube channel is about content planning and all of that fun stuff. So if we go and we type in a topic into the Keyword Explorer tool, let's say we want to do this one, content planning tools. Let's go ahead and click explore. So with this one, notice we don't have as many related searches here. It's just like best content planning tools, which it's more specific. So you could click on this one and you could see if that overall score is any better, but it, there's not really any related searches like there was on the YouTube SEO keyword research. So what do you do? Okay, so you could take a look at video topics here. This can give you more, but maybe we come back to the drawing board and we're just like, okay, but what's specifically about content planning tools? Like if I was in the head of my target audience, what specifically would they want? So what I find helpful is you can click over here to results and you can see the top results that are showing up in search for this specific keyword and see if that generates any more ideas. So notice this one, it's Hootsuite versus Buffer. 
okay, so they're doing a tool comparison versus content planning tools in general. Do we wanna do something like that? If we do, we can come back to the drawing board. So once we figure out the new keyword we wanna type in that's a little bit more specific, go ahead and explore that one. Then again, take a look at the score. Do we like that score? Do we not like that score? If you like this one, but you wanna keep going, start a Trello board or open up a Google Doc and keep your data in there. That's always really helpful. We can take a look at these related searches. Like I said, the video topics are really cool, but I kinda wanna see if we can find something a little little bit better than this. So like Hootsuite versus Buffer. Let's see if later, like if we add later that content planning tool, that gets a little bit worse. So not great. This is literally like exactly how I do keyword research. Sometimes you're just, you're getting into a rabbit hole to figure things out and to see where the gaps in the market are. Okay, so adding Sprout Social, that doesn't really do anything. What if we added another word in here that was related? So we're gonna go ahead and search for this one, Hootsuite versus Buffer Social Media for this specific keyword. Let's see what comes back. Okay, so this one is above 70, and like this threshold, y'all, like this is mine. I made this up. You don't have to follow it. 67 could have been great for you. But if we wanna do Hootsuite versus Buffer Social Media, so Obviously that doesn't really make sense, but you can do like for social media or something like that. You can add like a little keyword in there. I'm not gonna talk about optimizing for this keyword. That's maybe gonna be another video idea. If you want me to create that video on how to optimize a YouTube video based on these YouTube SEO keywords, let me know in the comments below. But essentially this one looks pretty cool. Keep in mind, we wouldn't have found this one if we didn't go over to the results, okay? so. If you're finding on the summary that the related searches, you're getting stuck, the video topics, you're getting stuck, take a look at the results here. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll open up a new tab on Google and just start typing things in related to that to just generate some more topic ideas or some more keyword ideas for me to start with. Okay, so hopefully me diving into this example was a little bit more helpful. Just know that like SEO keyword research it's really about doing it. You're gonna learn as you do it, so just allow yourself to play with it. Allow yourself to test and tweak, but hopefully this video broke it down in a way that makes it a little bit more simple. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way with the YouTube algorithm, letting them know that my videos are helpful and therefore pushing them out to more people. If you want to see more videos about YouTube SEO, about YouTube SEO keyword research, if you want me to try out a different tool, I'm totally open to it. So definitely leave a comment below this video and let me know. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into the three tasks that that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy.